What's up, YouTube? Hey, I, these are uh, different projects for Shelly and I. We don't know that much about car wiring. So that big loom that went up into the header was, for me, it was daunting. I was like, what are we gonna do with that mess? And the good news is, Joe told me to find the ones that I needed and to untape the loom and start separating them to find out what I didn't need. Well, when I once I identified the wires that we need and I unwound that loom, I was able to just follow those wires to where they plugged in and I was pretty confident they didn't affect anything because they all terminated up there and nothing was hooked up up there anymore. So I didn't want to go through them for the clearance lights, I didn't want to have the old wiring and the new wiring. So now I'm fixing to run this pre, K, pre, uh, I don't know what you call this, pre-bundled wire. So it's got everything that you need because all that I needed from those wire looms that came up was the tail lights and the brake lights and the clearance lights. I found the wires and they matched up with this code, which is kind of interesting. But the other thing that's interesting is sometimes they start out as a right turn green and then they would change it to a different color wire before it got to the end. But if we looked back over our thing, our left turn was yellow, the right turn was green, the tail lights were brown. Uh, now they have black as the clearance lights. I think that's what CL means but our clearance lights were brown also. Our stop lights were red, our brake lights were red, and our ground is white. So what I plan to do now, I've eliminated all that. It's out there on the ground, Shelly will show it to you. But I eliminated all that loom coming up here and I have the wires still at their original plug-in at the relay down there so I'm going to mount this junction box down here and this wire loom or this thing will just come in here and hook up on one side and those guys will come in and, and hook up on the other side and then it'll just go up and it'll go through the track that we've left. So I should be able to pull off this crown molding and pull this wire all the way to the back corner and I have the hole going down in for it down there but that might be the hard part because I'm not sure I can get back in there anymore. So we'll see. Okay guys, here is everything that he pulled out of the front of the bus. It is amazing. Okay guys, so this crown molding, um, we wanted it for decorative purposes but it serves another function in that it makes a raceway for these wires to go in behind it. So if we ever in the future want to add some wires or whatever, we can just take these crown moldings off and we've left openings behind everything so that we can pull more wires through. We got some tips on that from other people that said they wish they would have. So that's where we're at. We got to pull that wire. All the, All the way to the, from the front to the back and down that corner. <laughs> so get your polar on, Mama. You go up and over and through the bathroom and uh, up and over through the bedroom. Okay, so another thing that we did when we did the pre-wiring early We've already got our clearance lights ran. They're not the right colors, but it doesn't really matter. But they're gonna tap into this line as it comes by.
YouTube. This is what I love about Shelly. <laughs> it started out, I was like, I need some help. Pushing that wire up there. Now she's back there. Now where does it go? How do I get it there? What am I going to do? Well, because we know you ain't going to fit back here. <laughs> so I'm do you like... see that black cable, that black cable at the back uh -huh. going down through the bottom? Uh -huh. That's where this has to end up. So that black cable is going to get pulled down and this is going to go get in... pulled down through hopefully and this will pull we can pull this right down behind it but it's a little so, congested down there but you're wanting to go all the way to the back or no can it? it can go down those sides it, say it makes the most sense to go up, up where your hand is i was going to say can we come here yeah. and then drop straight down to yeah. the top of the engine and then go back yeah I think that that'll work and then we can we're gonna secure it down with hose clamps so it doesn't move around yeah because there's a two by four right here that we could follow all the way down that you could clamp to right okay guys let me show you what we've got going on so we came in up here through the top back behind the Murphy bed coming through there and then what we're talking about doing is just dropping straight down that parallel with that two by four and then coming out right there and see, see where that black hose is? That's where he wants to come out into the back of the bus. So I think we've got it. Okay, YouTube, Randy <laughs> thinks he can fit. Let's see if he's going to be able to work back there. Okay, guys, he has done it. He's been able to crawl back in there after we cleaned everything out. Oh, man, look at how close this is. And... Let me get up there a little bit closer. I left this, whatever you call that wire loom in there. And my hope is I can pull it on through here. I was hoping. Oh man. Oh, oh yeah. yes. I think it's hitting on the frame out there and all we gotta do is go, oh wait, wait a minute. So if that's the case, we gotta get our route. Right, so you need to go behind that one two by four. Oh, turn. sweet, man. I think this is going to work. And then to the engine. Uh-oh. Come on, baby. Uh, you've been down there once before. You can do it. There it goes. I think that'll pull down through. I hope. Oh, how sweet would that be? So we might have to pull just a wee bit more back to get it. Yeah. To follow our um, yeah, two then, by four. Then we'll come up and down. Yeah. So that will be awesome, and our totes will still slide, and nothing will be in the way, huh? And all of our wires will be uh, in this nice Encased. encasing, and, it, yeah. and it'll be pretty much wired to a universal code. And then hopefully when we hook up the tow vehicle, we can just get the adapter for the vehicle and then wire the other end of the plug-in into this box. It's in the engine compartment and tap into it. Towing and going, going towing. Let's go see where it hit. It's right here. Is it? Yeah, you can't. I mean. Oh, I don't know if I can even get up in there. Oh, I can see the hole. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there it is, right there, people. Wait, you got a hold of it? I did. My little hands were able to get up there and pull it. Well, I was going to take that stoplight out of the way. Well, I think I can. Oh, you just oh. ran out of slack. Ran out of slack. Just take that stoplight out. The okay. drill's right there on the floor. Oh. Yeah, that's reverse. Look at my woman go. She knows how to run the drill. Yeah. She don't... knows forward from reverse. Don't get too excited. Nice. Oh, it's not coming down. Man. That's hooked to the body right there, so it's a yeah. ground screw. Take the ground screw out because I want it out of my way. Oh. Please. I see. There's another screw. I am not a mechanic. Why? Who's, I didn't ask you to be a mechanic. I just asked you to unscrew that thing. That's awesome. <laughs> Got the sun right in my eyes, man. There we go. I can see you. <laughs> Put this right up here. Oh, like that. And it'll be above the generator. All right, so we'll take this wire up and over here and come down and in that way instead of trying to 
come in that way. I think we go go over and loop it around to be slicker. Okay, YouTube. Here is that line. Now I haven't got it anchored yet. It's gonna be anchored up there so it can't get yanked on. But I got it all fitted into the terminal box here. And I put ringed terminals on it. So I kind of made the mistake before when I wired these lights. I I put these lights in before I ever got the, that wire back here. And I made two mistakes on this. I wired the ground on this light to the frame, which because this is the door, it might have a crappy ground. Or you could jump a ground over to it, but I also used a spade connector there instead of a ring connector. So with vibration, I got to thinking, oh, that could work its way loose maybe, where a ring connector would be harder for it to come off. But I'm gonna take this back loose and I'm gonna wire these all solid right back to this box so that I know I've got a good ground there. And the other thing I'm doing is these are heat shrinks. So I just test fitted them to make sure everything was cool. And now I'll just take these out and I will heat shrink. I can heat shrink those down. So anyhow, I think that's neat. So this is the kit that I got for the ring connector and the spade connectors. It has butt connectors too, but this is the heat shrink one. So. Okay, so we've locked the wire in place. Just push it up Just, underneath the molding. Uh, to hold it. And now we're going to put the molding up. And so you can see our bloom of wires are going to fit just nicely back behind that. Okay guys, we're going to end the video here and we will just pick this up in the next video. So please stay tuned and um, know that we love sharing the journey with you all and we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.